Hello everyone from the Dakota Zoo here again with another creature feature. Today we are going to be talking about a snake. Uh, maybe not everyone's favorite creature, but definitely one you guys should learn more about. So I'm here with Keeper Riley and he's going to talk to us about our Kenyan sand boa. Hi, my name is Riley. I'm one of the keepers here at the Dakota Zoo and I help take care of uh, this little guy here named Bowtie. He is our Kenyan sand boa we have on exhibit. He's about fully grown. They get to about two feet long at the most, up to be about 10 years old. He's called the Kenyan sand boa because they are found predominantly in the deserts of North Africa. So these guys are typically going to be hiding amongst the rocks or the sand, sticking their head out of the sand, just waiting for something like a mouse or another prey animal to come by. They'll reach up and grab their food real quick. So you can see he's kind of got a little bit of an interesting face there. His uh, eyes and nostrils are towards the top of his head. And that's because he's going to be waiting in the sand, much like how a crocodile or alligator would be waiting in the water, where he'll just have just his eyes and his nose poking out to wait for that food item to come by. And then he'll grab it and constrict it because he is non-venomous. He does not have a venom to help subdue his prey. So he's going to constrict it until it's dead and then eat it. So pretty interesting little snake here. They're pretty common in the pet trade because they're very uh, docile. As you can see, he's very calm right now. They're not much for climbing or anything like that, so they're pretty easy to keep in their enclosure. And they are, again, a desert species, so they stay a little bit on the warmer side there. Do you know how he got his name Bowtie? So most of our snakes here are actually named after noodles because of the internet joke. They're called danger noodles. So we have Bowtie here, we have a linguine, and one that's just called Noodle. So pretty cute names. <laughs> Great. Why do you think people should care about snakes or even if they're kind of afraid of them, learn more about snakes? So snakes are actually very important in ecosystems, especially in places like North Dakota, because they help to uh, keep rodent populations at bay. So rodents, uh, little mice and things like that, that would be going for people's crops or grain that's stored or anything like that, spreading disease to humans. Snakes are very important in helping keep their numbers down. So especially venomous snakes like rattlesnakes, even though you might be a little bit scared of them and they're a bit more dangerous, as long as you avoid them, you're just fine. And they actually have a higher success rate of catching prey versus something like a constrictor that if they don't exactly get a good grip on them, that animal might escape versus a venomous snake that could inject venom, in which case that animal is definitely not going to survive. So very important to all ecosystems. Great. We'll take one more look at our little bow tie here. Get a close up of his face. See, he's pretty cute after all, and I like how stubby he is compared to other snakes. Yes, he's very streamlined with very smooth scales to help basically swim through sand and gravel and things like that. We're in his native habitat. So kind of a tubular snake, but a uh, very cute one in my opinion. Great. Well, thanks for teaching us about snakes today. Um, we hope everyone's staying healthy and safe at home. Um, we hope to see you guys this summer and you can come check out our snakes and learn more. Riley often does keeper chats through the summer with the snakes. Have a good day. Bye.